Park fans, it's Jolene Sugarbaker, the Trailer Park Queen, and welcome to the 11th floor of Artomatic 2012. This is also the Trailer Park room on the 11th floor, and this is the first time that I've been uh, actually showing my artwork and photography, and you too can come and see it. And it's open until June 23rd, and you can visit artomatic.org to find out more about when it's open and all sorts of things like that. But it's got my photography, my artwork, and products from the Trailer Park store. And you can tour it. And it's got my little mini YouTube pop-up studio. And we're going to take a quick little peek at it. So uh, those of you that live in other states that can't make it can at least see what's going on. But if you live in the area, at least an hour or two around the area um, of Arlington, Crystal City, uh, Virginia, please do drop by. I'll be here on special dates. Uh, I think the next one is June 2nd, so be sure to stop by then. But let's take a tour around my room and see what's going on. On this wall, I have my food of Jolene. And you'll recognize some of my recipes from my show on YouTube. We've got um, the cheesy bean casserole and the cheesecake bites. And of course, the favorite of everyone, the baby food pate. But what this does is there's little codes right here and what you do is you take your smartphone right here and you get a barcode um, scanner which there's all kinds even Google goggles I think that's what it's called um, will work but an iPhone or a droid or anything like that and you bring up your barcode just like that and you place it over the code there we go and it'll beep and then we'll say open and it'll ask you to play it in YouTube just like that and look at that it's one of my Christmas episodes to make cheesecake bites just like that right on your phone and if you're signed in the YouTube it saves it in your videos so you can watch it later or you can just save it right there in your browser from your little out. but that's the food of Jolene Wall and it's got some of my pictures of my friends and foodies and you can see that in the trailer park room on the 11th floor now here is my pink wall and we've got a lot going on right here over here I have a painting that I painted from an old dish brush I use that as the paint brush and that's been always popular when people come over to my trailer. They love looking at that. And that one's called Dark Forest. And that one's on a big, I don't even know how big that is. But I painted that. It's got colors of purple and red and yellow. And of course, I have one of my white trash with class t-shirts here. And that's always been a favorite in my trailerparkstore.com store. And then I have another one of my paintings right here. And this one uses mirror pieces, and it was broken from something that, you know, was one of my favorite things. So I decided to use it in one of my artwork. And then we have the Enchanted Beanstalk painting, then the Peaceful Garden one that you may have seen on my Facebook page. Um, people like that. And, of course, you all remember my microwave tie-dyed silk scarves that you do in your microwave. Uh, with the drink mix. I've got those there. One of the red and the purple. And of course my Don't Tailgate or your Flush or your Flush t-shirt which was in Transformers Dark of the Moon, the movie. And that's hanging up on the wall. But this is the pink wall. I really like this color. I think I'm going to paint my trailer this color. But I really like this color. It has a great just brightness. And it's got some of my paintings and my t-shirts and um, there's some photographs here too, some of the cherry blossom ones here too. But this one's right next to the food of Jolene wall. This here is my main wall and people from my Facebook page helped me choose this color and I really like it. It's sort of a purple or I think the word is aubergine. Um, but it's kind of got a great color. I don't, it's fluorescent light so I don't know what color it's turning up on video. But on my main wall, I have where my cards go. People can pick up a card or a recipe. And right now, I have my recipe for the Cocoa Cardamom Crunchy, the cookies that you make out of the cereal. But you can pick one of those up while you're in my room. 
but I've got my picture here that you can um, take a look at and also I have a guest book that you can sign right here and leave a note when I'm not here but on this side of the wall I have a one of my bags from my store since you know all the stupid politicians are making it so that we have to bring our own bags to the grocery store you can go buy a pretty one um, straight from the trailer park at trailerparkstore.com but I've got one of those there some of my taste awards photos there where I won the awards from my cooking show and um, also a lot of my pictures from my travels we've got Joshua Tree State Park We've got some of the monuments in D.C., ducks floating around, and my name's spelled out big and pretty up there so people know what's going on. And then we'll look at this other side, the left side of my wall. So we'll go over here Actually, to the left side. Right side. I don't know what on your video. You may not figure that out, but we've got more of my pictures on this side from Rome and more ducks. I'm into ducks with this. I don't know what's going on. And then we have some of my smaller prints. And then of course we have the Trailer Park Weather Forecaster. And if it gets wet, it's raining. And if it turns white, it's snowing. And if it gets hot, it's sunny. And if it's moving, it's windy. And if it's gone, you've been ripped off. So it's really easy to tell the weather with that. And you can get that also at trailerparkstore.com. And more of my little mini prints right here on this other wall, which we'll look at just a minute. And those are, those are real great. It's like an art yard sale here. And now we're in the corner of my room here, and we have a little mini prints. And I've just been going through the forest taking pictures and taking pictures of cherry blossoms and all sorts of things. And, of course, we're getting over to the other wall, so we've got more things like my T-shirts and things like that. And... Look at that, a cute little, God bless our mobile home baby little onesie. Isn't that cute? But you can get all that on my website, but it's all hanging up on my wall. But we're gonna move over here to my other wall, which is kinda, I don't know what color that is. It's in my living room and I had leftover paint and I used it on the wall. So we're gonna take a look at that in just a minute. And here I am on my other side of my room. So we've got more of my, we saw one of the t-shirts, but we've got baby bibs that you can also get on my, my store. And that one says not a terrorist target because really the terrorists don't go after trailer parks. So you're safe with that. Maybe not with tornadoes, but with terrorists, you're fine. We've got some more of my little square paintings. These are, this one's called the whole series. Then Dark of Light, Space Fire, and Fussy Space. That's with an F. Fussy Space. Better get that right. Um, so take a look at that. Got more of my pictures over there to the side. But what's great about this side of the room is I've got a little mini pop-up studio over here. In just a moment, we're going to see that. And that's where I'm filming Jolene Goes Artsy episodes. And here we have my pop-up YouTube studio. And you may have seen in the news that YouTube gave a whole bunch of YouTubers a million dollars to start their own studio. Well, I went to the dollar store and got some shower curtains and spent a few dollars and I did it myself right here at Automatic. So I've got my little studio here and I've been filming new Jolene Goes Artsies where I go behind the art with the artists and I interview the artists right here in these nice lawn chairs right here. I spared no expense here in the trailer park room. But I like to support the arts and I like to listen to artist stories behind their art. And you'll see a couple new episodes on my channel that you should subscribe to and see some more too. But um, Jolene Goes Artsy is a great series and I'm so glad to be here at Artomatic in my room and especially meeting all the new artists here too. But um, you can visit the little mini YouTube pop-up studio and you know I didn't need a million dollars although that would be nice so YouTube if you're watching you can go ahead and send it right to the trailer park and I'll get that process right away but this is the Jolene Goes Artsy mini YouTube pop-up studio here at Artomatic 2012. 
I hope you stop by the Trailer Park Room on the 11th floor. I can't wait to see you, and I'll be there special dates, too. So be sure to follow me on Twitter. I'm Jolene's Trailer there. And add me as a friend on Facebook, because you can find out when I'm going to be here, too. I'll see y'all back soon with some more cooking shows. I love you, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.